In this video, we're going to look at tariffs. How to add your own tariffs. Um, so let's add it from grid tariff. And there's different types of tariffs that one can add. So the most simple tariff that one can add is a straightforward fixed price per kilowatt hour tariff. So I'm going to select a new um, tariff. Country South Africa, the city I can specify. Let's say it is um, Johannesburg. And this is a plier. I can select um, city power. If it's not already there, you can add suppliers. And I can call this tariff, let's say, sample um, fixed, fixed price tariff. Right. Now, on the right hand side, I can actually specify the tariff. Uh, in this case, let's say we have to pay there 2 rand 50 per kilowatt hour. Fixed price 2 rand 50. You can also add a base price because sometimes suppliers will charge you a fixed price per month. So let's say there's a base price of 150 rand per month. And that is, that's it. So that tariff you can then add and it's available. A bit more complex tariff. I'm going to add a new one again. Is a block tariff or an inclined block tariff. So an example of, of that would be a tariff where there's um, for a certain block, say up to a certain kilowatt hour, you pay a price, and then if you use more, you normally pay a higher price. Um, and then there can also be a fixed price per month. So let's add a block tariff. So once again, I'm going to select um, City Johannesburg and City Power and let's take that sample block, block that. Okay, so from zero kilowatt hours, let's say we pay uh, two and 40. And then I can add another line. So then from 601, so it's basically 0 to 600 will be 240. And then from 601 upwards, you might pay 341. And so you can add uh, more blocks if, if there are more blocks uh, from your supplier. You can also then add your fixed price there. Right, so the more complex types of tariffs. Uh, is where you've got time of use uh, tariffs. And I'll give you an example of a time of use tariff. And uh, this is typical of some of the ESCOM tariffs, where there's actually six different um, tariffs almost. There's a low demand season, which is basically the summer months, and then there's high demand season, June to August. Now, in, in the, each season, there's three tariffs. There's a, uh, or three time periods, a Sunday time period, a Saturday time period, and a weekday time period. And, and each one of those time periods have different, either peak, stand-up, or off-peak tariffs. So you can see that it can become quite a, a complex situation. So, how do you handle that in, in, in PV uh, saw? For this, I'm going to open a, uh, project that uh, I've already done so let's go through that quickly and I'll show you how you implement a tariff like that in PVSol. Right, so there I've got a City of Chuane Industrial uh, 2021 tariff. If I select it um, and edit it by double clicking on that line, you can now see um, that here we defined six different tariff periods, which would be high season, 
peak time, high season, standard time, high season, off peak time. And then low season, peak, low season, standard, low season, off. The tariff period one, for instance, is 139. This would be low season, peak, period, peak tariff. Then 121, a bit cheaper, is low season, standard tariff. And then 86 cents is low season, uh, off peak tariff. High season peak tariff, tariff 4, is 4 and 70. That's a very expensive tariff. And then high season standard is 180, and high season um, off peak is 103 cents. So those are the different tariffs that's applicable. Now you can, at the bottom here, we can now assign those tariffs for the different um, uh, either peak, off peak, or standard. So in this case, we've defined three tariff periods, which is peak, standard, and off-peak. So A would be peak, B would be standard, and C would be off-peak. So under tariff A, you can now define per hour, per day of the year, if it's either uh, which one of those tariff periods apply. So if we look at uh, January, up to May, which is our stand, uh, uh, off low season uh, time, then up to five o'clock in the morning, it's tariff three, which is our low season, our low season off peak tariff, 86 cent. Then from six to eight, it's our low season, um, actually six o'clock, it's our low season standard time. Then from 7 to 9 is our low season peak time, which is um, tariff period 1, which is 193. And then from 10 to 5, it's again standard time, peak time again from uh, 6 to 7 in the evening, and so forth. That's now for weekdays. For Saturdays, you can see it's a bit different. There's only two tariffs, there's either off-peak or standard time. And then for Sundays, it's just basically off-peak time. Right, now for winter period, June to, to August, there it's uh, up to five o'clock, is our high season, our peak season, um, off-peak tariff, which is the cheapest tariff for that period. But then from 6 o'clock to 9 o'clock is tariff 4. And tariff 4 is that 4 and 70. That's our uh, high demand season peak tariff and so forth. So you can per hour, per day of the year define which tariff is applicable. And then obviously PVSOL, when it simulates the system, will um, base the savings on the time period and the tariff applicable to that time period.